are live. Well, hello, hello, hello. Welcome to another episode of Live with Naz, Quarantining in Corona, episode number 85. This is comedian Nazareth, and uh, thought we're done with quarantining, <laughs> didn't ya? Well, we're back, and our governor is closing the restaurants again, closing other stuff again. Uh, so I think we'll be together for a while. And <laughs> that's a good news. And that's all I have is good news. Let's see who do. Adriana, I was thinking about you last time. You weren't with us for a while. Welcome back. Hope you're doing good. You're a nurse, so hope everything is safe. Bobby Miller, my beloved. Pastor David, how are you? Sarah, I hope you're feeling better today. Even though when you didn't feel better, you were still so funny. Hello, Teresa, Teresa, Teresa. We love you so much. Welcome. Senate 2015. Barry Hardy, how are you? Matthew, my beloved from Wisconsin. Hope everything is well with you, my friend. All right. Happy Canada Day. Yes, today is Happy Canada Day. That's what we're going to talk about a little bit. Natalia Morris. Welcome, Natalia. Is this your first time? If it is, just let us know what city and state. And Fred Wilson, thank you for joining us early, my beloved brother. Amy, how are you? How is your toe feeling? Dad is happy you have his flag in the background. Yes, we're going to honor Canadians today. Hello, hello, hello. Art and Beth, how are you? Former French English ter territories. Oh, I thought. <laughs> I said, you know, I told you when I was little, I had. Uh, when not little, when I came to the country first, I couldn't differentiate between tourists and terrorists. So I would never go to Disneyland because they have terrorist attractions. And uh, let's see. Hello, beautiful evening to you guys, too. I have many relatives in New Brunswick. Well, it's not new anywhere. Uh, Br new Brunswick been there for a while, so it's just Brunswick right now. And it's north of York, which used to be New York. I think I'm finally getting the hang of this show. Thank you. One mile. <laughs> no, I have been here before. Oh, my bad. You're Belinda. Love it. Used to attend Crossroads when we lived in Corona. That's right. How are you, Natalie? Alrighty, good, 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 good. Uh, it is um, Canada Day. Happy Canada Day to every one of you guys. Welcome to the show. Come on, give us some some reasons why Canadians are so nice. Can someone tell me why Canadians? Ah, uh, Naveen Raphael, how are you? Remember a couple of days ago I told you about the best dentist in the world. That's his beloved wife, Naveen, and Naveen is one of the most humble people. I. I, I know. And the reason I can notice humble people, because sometimes I'm not very humble. I have to admit this. Why? Number one, I, I'm a Middle Eastern man. I was raised to be a narcissist. <laughs> I, I don't like it. I hate it. I'm fighting it. But that's what happened. Number two, I'm in a career where it makes you, it's so difficult to be humble in my career. Being an artist and an entertainer, like let's say I go to a, a theater or a show or a concert. They have someone assigned to me that makes sure whatever I need is taken care of. I go, they take me to the green room. Do you need anything? A road manager. Sometimes it's Brett. Sometimes it was De Daniel. They come in. Hey, what can we do for you? Do you need anything? You get treated. Then you go on stage and the audience is laughing and applauding and crying. And then they give you a standing ovation. This doesn't happen not once. It, ha it happens a lot of shows. And then after the show, you're in the backstage, you know, back in the back of the lobby on your product table. And there's people waiting for almost an hour sometimes to sign your autograph. So your head is this big right now. And then you come home and somehow God has a great sense of humor with the family. And you walk in the house. Hey, I'm home from my wonderful show. And you hear, well, the trash is not going to take itself out to the curb, will it? <laughs> Somebody has to do it because tomorrow is pickup day. Oh, okay. And then you come back and go, oh, yeah, the green room must have had a lot of great food. I go, yeah, how did you know? Well, you spill stuff on your shirt and that shirt's not going to take in itself to the dry cleaner again. <laughs> so, um, and you come home and your kids before they go, but hey, hey, dad, can you sign my homework? Uh, you mean I autograph it? I I just autographed about a hundred times. No, daddy, just sign it because you said you're going to help me with my homework and he didn't. Anyway, so that's the balance. So I love humble people 
And uh, Naveen is one of those people. Becky, how are you? Happy Wednesday to you. Jane sees more. Good to see you. It's always a pleasure to see you guys. Tell me why. Bonjour, Teresa. Uh, tell me why they are. Okay, Canadians, they are very cool. Yes, they are, Amy. Happy Canada. Great hockey teams. That's right. All right. Tim Roberts joined us. Guys, I have to stop and say, remember Ella? We've all been praying for Ella. And last week I told you Ella is done with her with her steroids last Thursday. And she ended up going to uh, Panda Express. So she's feeling better and we're waiting. So Tim is her dad. So keep the whole family in prayer. Tim is our worship leader at Crossroads. Another humble man. I love that. Hello. The qu right now we're saying Happy Canada Day. Name. Oh, Tim, update us on Ella. How is Ella doing? Because everybody's been asking me on this show, and we would like to know a latest update, if you can. Uh, Jane, hello again. Let's see. Will Knight and Amy Harris are here. Jeff Mullen, welcome back. Good to see you. Uh, Chelo from Tim Fakhuri. David, my favorite secular band is from Canada, Rush. Oh, I loved Rush. Worldwide album sales at over 40 million units. And so, wow, the group has been awarded 24. Wow, three guys who just love to play together and have fun. They're Canadians. Just bless Ella. Amen. French Canadian folks are very nice. Right. Yeah, I've been to Montreal. I've been to Ottawa. I've been to Ontario. I've been to uh, Sudbury, which is north of Ontario. I've been so many times to Calgary. I've done so many tours in Calgary and, um, uh, you know, in Alberta and in uh, British Columbia, Victoria. It's beautiful, beautiful country, beautiful people. Okay, let's see. So tell me why. Name some reasons why Canadians are so nice. <laughs> well, because it's cold. <laughs> but I don't know. Why do you think Canadians are so nice? Because healthcare is free, that's why. All right, let's see. Dad agrees. <laughs> Take off your hose head is the worst insult they can come up with in an insult. Corey Curtis, thanks for joining. Brent, maple syrup. <laughs> that's right, maple syrup. That's the. Uh, uh, good to see you, Brent. Okay, let's see. Hello, hello, people. All right, because God made them that way. <laughs> That's a good way to. Yeah. All right. Oh, Amy, I love the mask you have on and that uh, profile picture. Okay, let's see. Bob and Doug McKenzie. Okay, Dad, it's because of Roger's syrup. <laughs> Uh, Canadians are spread out from each. Okay, here's Tim's update. Thanks for asking and praying for Allah. She's doing great and making her way through her fourth phase of various chemo treatment. And yes, she loves Panda Express right now. She says they're the best bakers in the land. Because <laughs> they bake those, what do you call them? The brown noodles, the big noodles. She's so cute. Anyway, um... Uh, so thank you, Tim. We're praying for you and your family. This is our neighbors. Oh, they are our neighbors, the Canadians. I was going to say they get the great benefits. A lot of bachelors there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, you're married, Tim. Sorry, too late. No bugs or mosquitoes. That's right. It's too cold for them. They rub their noses together. Oh, wait, that's Eskimos. <laughs> oh, Rob Landon. Thank you for joining us. If it's your first time, please let us know what city and state you're in. Uh, we're just right now celebrating Canada Day. In fact, I'm wearing red for that purpose. Name some reasons why Canadians are so nice. Lake Louise is gorgeous. Victoria is pretty good. Yes, Victoria. It might be because they've been threatened with buck Buckley's. The Canadians will know what I mean. Okay. Well, we have to remember they have Tom Horton's coffee. Tom Horton's coffee is like our, it's equivalent to our Dunkin' Donuts, I think. But it's really good. Wendy Harris Bax, how are you, Wendy? Let us know where you're watching from, city and state. Susan Barbarino, hello, Susan, welcome. I think it's your first time, Susan. So let us know where you're at. A lot of new people today with us, so welcome. Panda Express, good. Pandemic Express, not so good. <laughs> 
World Watch. Okay, that's awesome. Thank you, World Watcher. Niagara Falls is beautiful from the Canadian side, right? Uh, well, I'll tell you what. I told you a long time ago when I used to live in Ohio and I owned bait shops, I used to drive a truck from, uh, from Toledo to Niagara Falls to Buffalo, New York, because in the winter, the Niagara Falls will not make the water freeze. So you're able to catch minnows there, little bait, and put them on the truck and drive them back. So I love... Yeah, Michael Ramirez, how are you? Mitri, Michael, Piro, Praga, Pekka, nice to meet you, brother. We'll sanitize in four minutes. Hello, Michael. No, no naggers. Nobody nags over there. <laughs> Do they have Dutch boys? I don't know if they have Dutch boys. I haven't seen it. So, uh, anyway... Uh, our Canadian friends, I know Crystal is not with us today. Uh, I don't see her. She's our Canadian friend as well. The Manitoba has a huge mosquitoes, so the no bug thing is a lie. <laughs> Do they, uh, let's see. Oh, Monsieur Dirks. <laughs> Blessed to see you, Nance. Thank you. Same here. Uh, Richard Trejo, welcome back. We haven't seen you in a couple of days. Okay. Uh, did you guys... Hello, Ray. Uh, how is the car running? Good. Uh, let's see. Uh, okay. Today I heard that the DMV is trying to allow people to to shorten the time they're spending at the at the DMV because now we need the real driver's license. So the driver's license we've had, the real ID, the the, the IDs we had all along were horrible. They were not real. So now we have a real ID. So speaking of that, oh Dalia Zarif, nice. Nice to see you. Welcome. Uh, okay. Uh, so the question is, um, give me some bad names for a driving school. Some bad names for a driving school. <laughs> That's going to be good. Runs great. Good, 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 good. Can you give me some bad names for a driving? <laughs> I love John, how he put, he finds the perfect, perfect background. Give me some bad names or worse names. Yeah, bad names for a driving school. Karen Dudley, welcome. Naveen, uh, how are you? Well, good to see you again. Bumper cars are us. The question is, give us some bad names for a driving school. Bumper cars are us. Crash course. <laughs> Crash course. That's a good one. Driving blind. Okay. Fakhur. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. <laughs> we teach you to crash. We drive your crazy driver's training <laughs> institute. Oh, on the road driving school. Okay. Let's see. Ruby. Ruby Vantal Labor. Hello, Ruby. Good to see you again. Uh, fender Bender Driving School, Clowns Cars, Clown Cars on United. Uh, we teach you how to crash. Oops, I did it again. <laughs> crash Brothers Driving Instructors. <laughs> I'm married. What's your excuse? <laughs> Drive on the sidewalk. <laughs> driving School, <laughs> Dead Ends Instructors. <laughs> Hello, Rosetti. Rosetti. That was the question from Rosetti. So that's awesome. Thank you, Chris, for that. Drive backwards to pass. I drive you. I drive your to plane. <laughs> uh, cut them off driving. Driving and putting auto and golf school. <laughs> putting auto and drive school. <laughs> Speed limits are suggestions. Dukes of Hazard Driving School. Hello, Bobby. Irish Coffee Driving School. Airbag Basics. <laughs> Tailgaters are us driving school. <laughs> Hold my <be> beer. <laughs> Hold my beer driving school. Road Rage <laughs> Driving School. The Red Green Driving Academy. Three Stars. <laughs> Good one, Matthew. Three Strikes Driving School. <laughs> the Fast and Furious Driving School. That's good. Road Rash Crash Course. 
Ladies are bad drivers driving school. Ouch. Run them over. <laughs> Learn to drive on only two tires driving school. Crash in, crash out. <laughs> crash in, crash out. Hey, officer, I didn't see you. <laughs> Texting and makeup application driving school. I think we covered that too yesterday. Ball tires slick driving. Felipe, aloha, welcome back. Good to see you, brother. Uh, I need to run errands. You learn as we go. <laughs> Undercover driving school, suspended license. <laughs> Brent, you're killing me, man. You're killing me, guys. Pass and park driving school. Speeding ticket driving school. Stay off the sidewalk driving course. <laughs> Makeup application driving school. Uh, retread, ret, retread training for older drivers. Oh, retired. Retired driving school. Texting and driving school. Hello, Rocky. Welcome back, man. Good to see you again. The question is, give us some bad names for a driving school. Runaway driving. Red asphalt driving school. Pamela pa pa Sebi. I think that's your first time, Pamela. You gotta let us know what city and state as we are sanitizing. Because Teresa warned us, every 15 minutes we have to sanitize and share. Sanitize and share sanitize and share that's all we're asking we're 85 days together people 85 shows and we're still sanitizing every 15 minutes that's why all people who are watching us are are not getting sick see it's the sanitizing and share it please please share yesterday when they had 20 shares that's not good we're used to 50 and over so 20 is not going to cut it so ba bobby thank you for sharing all right, Pamela, let's see. The question is, give us some bad names for a driving school. How to use the runaway truck cramp. <laughs> 10 points driving. <laughs> Good one, Art. 10 points driving. <laughs> Art, it's for Race Driving Academy, the art of escaping. <laughs> Comedy material driving school. My mom said cutting corners driving school. That's a good one. <laughs> Fast turns. Sanat Saeed, thank you for joining us from Downey. Did not see you there driving. <laughs> Haido driving. <laughs> no experience necessary driving academy. No signal necessary driving school. Higher insurance. <laughs> Higher insurance rate driving school. <laughs> That's a good one. Oh, fast reversals backwards driving training school. U-turn driving school. Chop autom <laughs> autonomous driving school where we ignore the rules and the police. Good one, Pastor David. Make circle eight. <laughs> okay, COVID-19 driving school. If you can stay on the road, you're doing good. <laughs> Was that a speed bump driving school? <laughs> Ex felons driving instructors. <laughs> Riot control. Okay. Parallel parking, dents, and body damage. <laughs> Good one. Ski mask driving academy. White knuckles driving school. <laughs> Old ladies driving school. One mile driving school. That works now. Edge of the seat driving school. <laughs> Fast. And the Furious Driving School. You don't need a license, Driving Academy. Jesus Take the Wheel <laughs> Driving School. Good one, Beth. Teen, teens' Lives Don't Matter. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Teen Lives Don't Matter. <laughs> Oh man, you guys are killing me. This is this is builds up, and then one of you kicks in, you know, <laughs> give me a double dose and kills me like that. Two miles driving school, evasive driving school, 
COVID-19 six feet social distancing school. We make sure you're never too close to your neighbor. Oh, how to outrun police during high-speed car chase driving school. <laughs> Drunk drivers driving school. Uh, officer, I wasn't speeding. I was trying to qualify driving school. Repo driving school. Social distancing tailgating academy. <laughs> Roadkill driving school. Driving for dummies. <laughs> Good one. Uh, Blue Lives Driving School. <laughs> Gary Jenkins. Thank you for joining us, Gary. Let us know where you're at. City and state. And the question is, bad names for a driving school. Give me some bad names for a driving school. Toddlers Driving School requires parental permission. Nancy Subhi will come back. It's been a long time. We're wondering where you're at. You, you know, so welcome back. The question is, give us some bad names for a driving school. And I know your son just graduated, so he needs to drive. So we, we offer some names, <laughs> bad names for <laughs> driving school. Last Drive Skeleton Driving School, Stuntman Driving Academy. Your mom paid us off to pass your driving school. Miyagi Driving School, we teach you to drive blindfolded and how to put wax on and wax off. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Death Trap Driving School, Outside the Lines <laughs> Driving Academy. <laughs> how to get out of a ticket academy. NASCAR, but you only learn how to make left turns. <laughs> right. Road Rage Driving School, Bedrock Driving School. <laughs> Mad Max Driving Boot Camp, uh, Rona Driving School, Christine Brandling. Hi, how are you guys? All right, our friends from New York. Well, no, they're not in New York. Uh, Mr. Brandling was a pastor with us here at Crossroads, and then I think they are. You guys are in Texas or in Oklahoma, so. Let us know how you guys are doing. The question is, bad names for a driving school. Former DUI Uber drivers. <laughs> driving school. The driving school that teaches one-on-one reasons why to say it wasn't me when pulled over. Road race driving school. None gets out alive. Manic driving. Maniac driving. Driving school for the blind. Brake check them often. <laughs> Two felons will teach you to drive. Step on the gas. We are only doing 80 driving school. Homie driving school. We run your mother-in-law down driving school. Theme. Them's are the brakes. Driving academy. Learn how to eat donuts and drive school. Flippin' driving school. Hunger games driving school. <laughs> Wendy, Buhar Modi, welcome Wendy. I think it's your first time, so let us know what city and state. Alrighty, the Zoom virtual driving school. <laughs> Learn how to drive without brakes. Susan Ramirez, welcome back. Okay, the miracle mile of the heat is on. <laughs> the question is, give us some bad names for a driving school. 5150, you're crazy if you don't hire us. <laughs> Rodney Dangerfield Driving School. <laughs> okay, let's see. Wait. Wait until you see the whites of the eyes of the driver behind you, then hit, a, hit the brakes. <laughs> uh, backseat drivers. Homeschool. <laughs> Drive away driving school. Tailgates, all you want. Uh, women nagging driving school can cannot bail cannot bail run cannonball run i'm sorry can run red lights juan almeida welcome back it's been a month thank you for joining us the question is give us some bad names for a driving school virtual driving school clear the carburetor high speed on service roads driver training all right, my mom said that's the brakes. <laughs> uh, driving school. That's funny. Michael Anthony, welcome back. Ah, oh, you guys are killing me here. 
Autopilot Driving Academy. Ah. Speed up driving. Don't blink. We teach you how to not use your blinkers like most other drivers in California. Scott, welcome back. Give me some bad names for a driving school. Traffic tickets are us driving school. Stick shift only <laughs> driving school. Hit and run. <laughs> Hit and run driving. <laughs> That's a good one. The other pedal. <laughs> Private eyes behind you. All lives matter driving school where we keep everyone straight. Oh, for real. <laughs> Guaranteed to wreck driving. Extreme <laughs> driving academy. <laughs> this is funny. No light nighttime driving school. Oh. How about you'll never make it driving school? John. John? What was your instructor's school name when you did the... He was a cop, an ex-cop, right? Well, give me some name. Funny name. Cry on the freeway, school. Roadkill, oops, it was a cat. We ran over school. <laughs> Happens. <laughs> uh, you know, emoji. <laughs> Happens, driving school. Drive by Braille, driving school. How to get acquainted with the tow truck driver. <laughs> Driver Academy. Oh. You can't get there from here, driving school. How about you You will use Uber the rest of your life, driving school? Because he's never going to get a license. No headlights, driving school. Yeah, let's see. Death Wish. <laughs> I did. I just made up a name. I said you'll always... You're going to use Uber the rest of your life driving school because you're not going to make it. All right. Highway Driving Academy. No insurance driving. <laughs> Text us while driving for more info. <laughs> I can't drive 55 Academy. Road race tips. Office. Oh, Officer Bernie Fives Driving School. Freedom School. <laughs> We pick him up. We pick him up. Hitchhikers driving school. <laughs> oh, that is funny. This is funny, you guys. Let's see. In a couple minutes, we're going to sanitize. Text and drive driving school. A little girl, age 11, got hit in. Oh, okay. Uh, never mind. Take a taxi. New York Taxi Company. The Big Bang, <laughs> the Big Bang Driving School, Pile Driving Academy, Drive By Academy. <laughs> uh, uninsured Driving School, Road Rash Driving School. Uh, Amy, repeat that that uh, that comment when we ask for prayer at the end, so everybody can pay attention to it. We can read it and pray for her. Road Rash Driving School. Fireworks in my house. Okay. Off-road Rash Driving School. Off-road Bad for Our Cars Driving Training. 666 Driving School. Demolition Derby Testing. <laughs> That's good. All right. I think it's time to sanitize in exactly 30 seconds. Bulldoze your way through traffic driving school. <laughs> All right. I think it is time to sanitize. Everybody sanitize and share. We're not going to end up with 20 shares today. We're not going to take it. I will not accept it. We're going to do more. So sanitize. If you're new with us, please sanitize and share. Tag your it. 2080 vision driving Pick a lane driving school. One mile driving school. Ah, fireworks and prep for 4th of July. Yes. A DUI driving through police station. <laughs> C 
crash test driving school share sh yes crash dummies driving school the lane drifter driving school um, man you guys are funny tonight oh. all right one fourth rolls cool it's all about you driving <laughs> the lane <laughs> drifters driving school Ah, lane split speed limits don't matter driving school lane splitting motorcycle training academy all righty let's see here's the next question for you guys and still uh, today again i said let's see fireworks are you around here yeah i know it seems like it now share to my timeline then i share as many times as fa oh thank you you're so sweet sarah thank you okay the, you know what the, anyway so today the head or the director of the dmv in california said they're gonna be less waiting time so people don't catch the COVID. thank you tim for sharing okay here's the thing remember how long we've been waiting at the dm things you can get done while waiting at the dmv things you can get done while waiting at the DMV. Uh, for me, I would say I read uh, War and Peace while waiting. The whole series. Okay, let's see. Uh, Clown Daras driving school. <laughs> Ignore emergency vehicles driving. <laughs> we break your heart driving. Thank you, Bobby. For sure. And get out of my way, driving academy. <laughs> In and out of sleep at the wheel training. Uh, my mother. Three men weave. <laughs> Bre breath <laughs> better breathalyzer <laughs> results driving. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's good. Clear the sidewalk driving school. <laughs> Let me repeat what Chris says. Better breathalyzer results driving school. Call your mom driving school. Mark Warwick, welcome. Thank you for joining us. Let us know what city and state you're at. Be married for 50 years. And yes, the, the question is things you can get done while waiting at the DMV. Uh, you can call your mom. That would be good. Uh, be married for 50 years. Getting a haircut, <laughs> your taxes, get your taxes done. Mother. Three Stooges driving school, you smash him, we patch him, driving school, giving birth, <laughs> you can give birth. Why is this guy looking at us in the black? You know the guy in the black shirt, the short guy with the black? Why is he staring at us? <laughs> he looks like he's looking at us. That's funny. Giving birth, pay your bills. He needs something to do. Like, find Jimmy Hoffa. <laughs> Clip your nail. <laughs> uh, finish reading about spatulas. <laughs> All right, where is James Blind? He's, he's like, take a three-hour nap at the DMV. Get a colonoscopy <laughs> checkup. <laughs> Anaheim Hills, Mark Warwick, thank you for joining us. Yes. Things you can get done while waiting at the DMV. Give me some ideas. Train your ear and nose. Trim your ear and nose hair. <laughs> uh, we run you down driving school. Pretend your rear view mirrors are gone since your parking will tear them off anyway. Brico, I was just thinking about you. Thank you for coming to the show. I saw your group yesterday. I'm like, how come she's not with on the show? How to drive sleeping. The question right now is, well, there's two questions. The first one was bad names for a driving school. And the second one right now is things you can get done while waiting at the DMV. How to drive sleeping. Reading congressional <laughs> record. Return your wife's call. <laughs> Solve pi to 200 places. Okay. Playing games, right. Take a shower and come back. Paint your fingernails. I read a Stephen King novel. <laughs> the background is cracking me up. I know. Look at that guy looking at us. I can't get over it. Oh, man. This is funny. 
<laughs> Thank you, John, for the background. I've never had. <laughs> Every time I look on the to the mic, I see him staring at me. What are you looking at, man? I'm looking at you. Okay, <laughs> then have in and out delivered to DMV. Eat and enjoy. So mask for everyone in life. <laughs> Finish your makeover. You can learn the great art of patience at the DMV. Right. Cough, cough, sneeze, sneeze. This will clear a long line. Read Genesis to Revelation, which will only take 72 hours. You push through, and you'll still have some time left. Graduate college. Go to the restroom. And let's see. Mom said, read the one-mile book. <laughs> Make masks and give them away to other people. Finish my MBA. <laughs> Hello. Learn a second language, right? Lose 30 pounds. Find a girlfriend. <laughs> Knit a blanket. <laughs> Memorize the Constitution. Right, Janet. Mow the grass in a football stadium with a push mower. Read letters of the Sunday New York Times. Okay, eat a seven-course meal. <laughs> Build a sauna and get in it until they call your name. Watch how to cheat on the driving test on YouTube. Right. Finish the world record book and get all the answer to NASA's question. That's a good one. I think we are now. I think we're getting to that. What do you guys think? Time for a Guinness Book of World Records? All righty. Here's the Guinness Book of World Records. Guinness Book of World Records. Guinness Book of World Records. And guess what? It has to do with driving. Huh. What do I know? This guy's still looking at me. What's wrong with you, man? You, okay. There's a, a German guy ga named Gunther Holtorf. He spent how many years driving his car, Mercedes-Benz, around the world? He visited about 180 countries along the way. He drove around the world in his Mercedes. He visited 180 countries. How many years it took him to do that? In years, not in miles. N and uh, I don't want that uh, common core math, Teresa. Just need answers. How many years? A thousand bananas. That's the right answer. As, pe <laughs> As people, 656 years. Finish the world record book and get the answers. Okay. As people, they think five. Okay, get COVID-19 from the guy in front of you who's not, who isn't social distancing and recover. That's a good. Brush up on your driving skills in your manual. Scrape all the gum off the sidewalk and have a snack. Ow! <laughs> Figure out why that guy is staring at us from NASA's background. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Set of a stink bomb and it will clear the room. Uh, Set off a... Gunther, 80 years driving. 80 years driving. Okay. Really? Was the car part boat? Oh, that's right. Well, I think he might put it on one of those, what do you call them? Sh you know, con like sh barges where you, you know go across. 30 for Timmy. 8.43 years for Art. 12 years for Ray. It's not nice to stare. I'll go talk to that guy. Look, please do. Uh, right now we're at Guinness, so I'm okay. But 52 years for Brent, 11 years for Michael, 10 years for Bobby, 3 years for Breco, 7 years for Matthew, 22 years for Adrena, 12 years for Sarah, 4 years for Sarah, 87 for Sarah. That is Hecker. <laughs> okay, David, you will also have to wait in line to talk with the guy. <laughs> <laughs> Eat a 24 course meal. 65 for Sarah. Fair, fairies. Yeah, that's what it is. A fairy. You put the boat on a, the car on a ferry. I'm asking Lily Navas. She's not here with us. I think she's working still. 75 for Betty. 65 for Amy. 23 for Janet. 30 days because he used the boat over the ocean for Bobby. 14 for Sarah. 35 for Sarah. I have no idea. <laughs> so you, what about all these answers before? 36 for Jane. This question is driving me crazy. 
That's funny. That's 80 days around the world. <laughs> yeah, but that was a balloon. It wasn't a car. Oh, that's funny. You guys are funny. Alrighty. 84. I'll answer fully. <laughs> Maha's in a Bible study right now, Wednesday. So she can't answer. But I think she said one mile. I think. Go see a chiropractor while I'm waiting. Right. Lily is on vacation. That's right. She said she's going to the desert. That's right. Good job, Amy. 23 for Brent. All right. Keep him coming. Nobody got the correct answer yet. Oh, water. To clear the DMV line, either eat really stinky food while in line or eat baked beans. <laughs> All right, 24, 17 for Sarah. Driving school, wind up toy. <laughs> Driving school, that's good. I'll answer for Maha, one year per mile. <laughs> that's right, five years uh, for Bobby. 16 for Sarah, 15 for Sarah, 42 for Brent. Chiropractors always crack me up. 28 for Sarah. Five for Michael. Wax your legs. <laughs> Wax your legs at the DMV. <laughs> right, that would be it. That's it. I saw her post. Oh, that's right. Okay, I'm literally throwing darts here. Okay, Michael Ramirez. You can't ask for someone who's not here. You have to be present to win that toilet paper. 65, 64 for Sarah, 63 for Sarah, 62 for Sarah, 61, 69 for Teresa. Keep them coming. Vina Bukhtar, thank you for joining us. I think you're in Downey, California. If not, let us know what city and state, Vina. Okay, surgeons keep me in stitches. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, the question, the Guinness Book of World Record question. Okay, there's a German guy named Gunther Holtorf who spent how many years driving his Mercedes around the world, visiting a total of 180 countries? which right now all those 180 countries have COVID-19. Joey, welcome. Joey, Joey, Silson. Uh, I talked to your dad today via Facebook, and they're still not feeling great, so we're praying for them. Break your bones, driving school. The guy drove around the world while waiting in line <laughs> at the DMV, and when he came back, he was still in line and staring at me. All right. She took all her pets on vacation, too. Her pets needed vacation, too. That's awesome. That's for uh, Lily. 55 for Betty. 71 for Sarah. 72 for Sarah. 73 for Sarah. 34 for Adriana. John's driving school. I could juggle balls and our bowling pins in the DMV line. 47 for Sarah. 46, 45, 44, 43, 45. <laughs> All right, 40, Sarah, with no breakdowns, wow. All right, uh, maybe Ray should get that car from him. Catch a fish, fillet it, batter it, fry it, eat it, feed it to the cat in alley, out back, floss and brush your teeth, get into your pajamas, get eight hours of sleep, and wake up in time. Start at the end of the line again the next day. Joyce Nchewat, how are you, young lady? Congratulations, you just got married. Guys, I don't want to age myself, but Joyce used to be in my uh, Bible study when I was teaching a youth Bible study back at Calvary Chapel, Costa Mesa. And she was probably, at the time, like 12 years old or 10. Uh, all right, you can witness and or heckle other people at the DMV. Third time, the trick driving school. Okay, the question was, for Guinness Book of World Records, they said there's a guy, a German guy, who spent how many years driving around the world in his Mercedes, and he visited a total of 180 countries. How many years did he spend? So far, nobody gave me the correct answer, people. Look. <coughs> 15 for Betty, 6 for Michael. If Gunther went scuba diving and came out too fast, he would get the bends. <laughs> and... And then an answer is, right, okay, crash course in speed. 
Lily not here, so I'm fill, filling in. <laughs> All right. Sanitize. Time to sanitize. That's right. Let's sanitize and I'll give you the answer right now. The answer, ladies and gentlemen, is 26 years. 26 years he spent driving around the world, 180 countries in his Mercedes Benz. And I think so far, I feel like I know the worst auction ever. All these answers while attending, the standing in the DMV. Uh, write a book about what everyone in the DMV line is thinking. Crash dummies drive 61, 60, let's see, 45, 59, 13, 58, 57. Okay, someone got it right early on. I think Sarah said 27. And then someone else. Okay, Sarah said 26. Someone else said 20, 27. John? Can you go back and see? Do you have an access to going back to see who said 27? So Sarah is one of the winners. Well, Sarah got it correct, so I think Sarah Sarah gets the correct answer. So, Sarah, you're the winner. 26 years for Sarah. That's the correct answer. Sarah is a winner of this. I don't know if she was answering for Lily, but you and Lily have to fight it, you talk it, share it separately. And here you go. You Congratulations. And... Brenda Seredi, welcome. Thank you for joining us, Brenda. Let's know what city and state. I said 26, right? Yes, Brent said 26 too. So we got Sarah and Brent winning this. Brent is the second day, second consecutive day winning. And Sarah, you won several times. So this is awesome. I love it, guys. Study for ESL and become fluent enough in English to pass the driving test. Right. I said 26, just as Naz was saying the answer. So, yes, you and Brent won. The stare, uh, you and Brent and maybe Lily, you said. The staring guy on the DMV Drivers Institute. <laughs> oh, wow. Well. Put him back, John. Let me see that guy again, if he maybe he cha turned his head. Uh, yeah, yesterday I said 26. Does that count? No, it doesn't. Oh, this is funny. Why is this thing here? Oh. Okay. So we keep, we go back. Things you can do at the DMV while waiting in line. Here he is. What is he doing looking at me still? It's just a show. We're doing a show here. Why are you bothering you? <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> you can graduate from high school and join AARP in, <laughs> in the same visit. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. Oh, man. Okay. Here's, here's the third question for you guys. All right. Noha Jabaji just joined us. Hello. Welcome. We'll share with Lily and Michael and Teresa. Take a shower, right? You can do that. Okay, here's a question for you guys until we get to prayer time. Complete the sentence for me. Complete the sentence for me. We have to say goodbye to that guy staring at us. Okay, wrong side driving. <laughs> Hacker still staring at <laughs> Heck, he's still staring. Get your MBA online. Oh, Lonnie just joined us. Welcome, Lonnie. All right. We got a new question for you guys right now. Came from Rossetti. All right. Oh, Pastor Bob Copney. Calvary Chapel Placentia. I love that man. Haven't seen him in 25 years, but great pastor. Good to see you, brother. Here's a question. Complete this sentence. Noah got off the ark and said blank. Complete the sentence. Noah got off the ark and said blank. What did he say? Jody Junkton, welcome back. Welcome back. All right. All right. So <laughs> I love this. Why is that monkey staring at me? No, <laughs> Nobody's staring at me. All right, sir, I think that guy in your background is deciding whether or not to heckle you. <laughs> Hillary Baker, welcome back. Good to see you. Bye to the guy staring at us. Yes. Okay. Hi, Pastor. 
All right, we got a few minutes before we start asking for prayer requests, so let's be funny with this. You guys be funny. Complete the sentence. Noah got off the ark and said, I forgot my life jacket. <laughs> I'm tired. Yes. Oh, that's funny. Thank heaven. <laughs> it stinks in there. Do you have any Febreze? <laughs> Did I turn the coffee pot off? <laughs> that's always uh, that's all that makes us come home back then. I gotta pee. <laughs> Wipe your shoes. Right. That's a good one, Matthew. That's funny. Wipe your shoes. <laughs> we landed. Yes. My dad, Noah, said, finally, <laughs> fresh air. Right. Noah said, peekaboo. Sanitize. Yeah. We didn't sanitize at 9.15. Let's sanitize again. Sanitize and share, please. Sanitize and share. We forgot. We had this guy from the DMV staring at us. Really messed me up. Okay. So, Noah came out of the boat. And what did he say? Uh, <laughs> that's funny I need a mask <laughs> time to sanitize and share right thank you oh vey oy vey <laughs> who's got the ma manure shovel <laughs> did I lock the door now what <laughs> someone throw the anchor hmm. we got we got to back the world j gone crazy we gotta go back the world gone did I leave the stove on? <laughs> I never want to go to a zoo ever again. <laughs> right. <laughs> Let the elephants out first. <laughs> I t oh, Shem, I told you male and female, not two male. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, get the kids back in. It's not ready yet. <laughs> oh, I will never say don't horse around again. <laughs> don't let the mosquitoes mate. All right, we brought the mosquitoes <laughs> i got wrong directions everybody back on the boat see you later alligator <laughs> because i fell and hurt my tri-tip <laughs> that's funny oh time to build an altar okay someone get rid of this pair of wuhan bats <laughs> that's funny all right who let the dogs out no more cruises for me. <laughs> Who let the dogs out? Shem, that, thank God, I mean it literally. Someday, everyone is going to think a zoo's good idea. Get these monkeys off my back. Are we there yet? <laughs> oh, no, we forgot the dinosaurs. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. All right. Complete the sentence. Noah got off the ark and said. Map map request send us map quest send us the wrong way. Uh, no one will believe. Okay, let's see. No one will believe we brought unicorns along. I have never been so glad to see dry land. Uh, TGID, thank God it's dry day. <laughs> Someone find the RV connections for the sewage and line, Harry. Finally, we can social distance. Chicken has Botox at its being. <laughs> Are you doing my act, Betty? Uh, use boat for sale, ocean mile nine only. Man, that was a carnival cruises. Time to plant grapes and make wine. <laughs> Hi, I'm Lonnie Pelly, younger brother. Oh, Brian. How are you, Brian? Good to see you. Welcome, welcome. So can we eat some of these animals now? <laughs> What's the Wi-Fi password? <laughs> the air was foul in there. <laughs> Is she done yet? <laughs> That's the last time I trust Google Maps again. I'm like, how about Noah's wife still putting her makeup on? Come on, honey. Let's go. <laughs> this is going to look great on my resume. Who let the dogs out? We need a laundromat. <laughs> Don't let the Wuhan bats out. Oh, where are we? Where are my GPS is wet? Wow. Let's see. I'm hungry. I can only eat one of the cows. <laughs> can We can now go swimming. <laughs> Too much family time. <laughs> right. I'm doing very... All right. This is awesome, Brian. Thank you for joining us. Is there a 7-Eleven nearby? 
Hey, Mr. Casper. RT Casper, how are you? Welcome back. I could use a stiff drink. All right, it's 9.25. Oh, time for prayer requests, people, please. While you're being funny, please let me know your prayer request. Also, if you think of funny stuff after the show, message me. We'll read them tomorrow. It's going to be funny, so we'll read it tomorrow. Uh, okay, let's see. Animal crackers, anyone? Okay, if you have any prayer requests, please uh, share with us. We continue to pray for three-year-old Ella, who's having um, still going through chemotherapy, and she's going through a fourth stage of of chemo for her leukemia. Three-year-old Emma, keep her in prayer. Amy mentioned someone who eleven-year-old. Amy, please can you can you rewrite your comments so we can pray for that person, that family. Also, pray for, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, Jay and Linda Stilson. They're not feeling good still. Pray for Brent uh, and Audra. Pray for, um, uh, you know, uh, let's see, Rita is not with us. We're waiting for her to get back, settle back and join us. God, Noah, Noah what? <laughs> I just found out I get seasick. <laughs> oh, where's Starbucks? Please, God, next time let me just build a bear. <laughs> That's one small step for man. <laughs> oh, good one. Uh, good one, Beth. That is funny. Now, that is funny. <laughs> That's what Noah said when he came out of the boat. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Phew. Yeah, that's what he said. This is residential, the residential zoning. When blowing a horn, you sound like a goat. <laughs> Please pray for Audra. Un unspoken request. We will be praying for her. Uh, I knew I should have bought a Thomas guide. Pray for kids aging out of foster care. You're right. You know, in fact, today, Janet, I uh, Maha cooked again. Every week we cook for a for a group, several homes uh, that uh, has foster kids who came, you know, who are over 18, were no longer in the system. So they live in homes that are uh, being supported by Inspire Ministry. And Maha, every week she cooks for them. So I end up delivering it and I love it. Today we deliver it to a boy's home and a girl's home. So it was really good. Pray for kids. Oh. Pray for Janet's trip and finding a job, okay? We'll be praying for Janet. Uh, please pray for our mom. She's battling dementia. Oh, okay. We'll pray for Lonnie's and Brian's mom. Uh, Sarah, well, I guess it's time to start over. That was a great game of Animal Cross. Okay. Uh, thank you for your prayers. Pray for our pastor's wife. She has chemotherapy tomorrow again. Okay, we'll be praying for her. Alrighty, we'll be praying for you and your wife and your new baby to come. Uh, Noah said, I'm glad that's over. Are we here at Disneyland yet? <laughs> my father-in-law died last week and my 17-year-old cat died this week. Prayers, please, and thank we will. Breaker will be praying for, for the family. We love you. Good night, Brent. We'll be praying for Audra. Noah, place where I can get away from him. <laughs> I went to study arc lecture architecture <laughs> goodness all right well frank audi join us just in time to pray for you guys so uh any other requests for prayer please pray pray for our nation pray for a uh, a revival people we need a revival in this country we do need the revival it is it is ready this nation okay amy said that little girl was 11 years old and passed away as the driver hit her in the head and run pray for the family she was with her cousin when she got hit she was visiting her family from highland oh pray for the family of this 11 year old who got hit and died okay please pray uh joy uh, villa mayor thank you for joining us at the last minute of our show, we're here every weeknight at 8.30 p.m. We laugh for 53 minutes, and then we ask for prayer, and we encourage you. But right now, this is 9.30. Thank you guys so much. Please put a prayer emoji. Let everyone know. 
you're praying for them if you have a private prayer please message me i would love to pray for you robert ludwig uh pray for my stage four kidney failure and finding funds for a transplant we'll be praying for that as well uh righty so good night guys love you so much keep praying for everyone here and uh, we'll see you tomorrow night god bless you god willing thank you all new people who joined us today we love to see you again tomorrow god bless you and good night and share this please